the Harrier fighter jet is believed to be familiar to military enthusiasts. As an early vertical takeoff and landing VTOL, aircraft, it has not only been successful commercially, but also proven its value in actual combat. However, the name Harrier is not exclusive to the aircraft. During the same period, Britain also developed a piece of equipment called the Harrier Airborne Vehicle, although the latter is relatively unknown. The Harrier Airborne Vehicle was developed by the aircraft manufacturer Hunting Aircraft in 1957. Its original purpose was to provide ground mobility equipment for airborne troops. It is small and lightweight and can be transported by general transport aircraft, airdropped, or airlifted by helicopter, providing valuable mobility for paratroopers. The vehicle is very lightweight, weighing only 317 kilograms, and its structure is highly simplified, likely using lightweight metal components. The engine is installed at the rear of the vehicle, a 650 cubic centimeters BSA twin-cylinder engine, enclosed in a metal mesh box to prevent the occupants from being burned. It can output 30 horsepower and operates in a 4x4 mode, with independent suspension for each wheel, achieving a maximum speed of 80 km per hour. Like other similar equipment, the Harrier has no armored protection. It is equipped with four seats, with the driver seated in the front right. Each seat can be folded, and the vehicle's body is a box structure, with the left and right halves folding up to form a rectangular box. Despite its simple structure, it is equipped with a front and rear light, with the front light placed in the center position. Hunting aircraft built six prototype vehicles for testing, and found that the vehicle met all military requirements, with the only drawback being its high cost. Airborne vehicles are a relatively niche market, and the scale of many countries' airborne forces cannot support large-scale equipment of airborne vehicles. This means that it is not cost-effective to produce them in large quantities. Therefore, Britain did not actually equip the Harrier airborne vehicle. At least one prototype vehicle has been retained, but there is limited information about it online, and some details remain unclear.